The holidays are fast approaching and now more than ever, we are looking forward to spending quality time with our loved ones around the table. Fresh floral expert Darina of Blourish was recently here to show us how to create a luxurious fall tablescape. Take a look. So let's dive right in. Today we're focusing on fall flowers uh, to create that perfect tablescape as we head into the holidays. Uh, what type of flowers should we be looking for this time of year? Yes, we are. Thank you for having me, Christine. So what we're going to be looking for this year is those nice, bright autumn fall colored florals. So we're looking for the oranges and the yellows, and then we want to put a lot of greenery in there. So I'm going to really show you the right flowers to pick and how we can arrange them in a way that looks so beautiful on your tablescapes. Perfect. And what I know, because I actually like to arrange flowers, is that you can do it yourself for a fraction of the cost yes. of going to these stores and just buying them as is so guys get creative and Darina's going to show us how and really the key Christine is knowing the right types of flowers to pick and knowing how to, to arrange them properly so I'm going to show you some of the flowers that I feel like are the best ones to pick right so pretty so I love this eucalyptus and so what I like to do first before I start is I'll take a nice solid base and what you want to do is use your floral grid tape it's like a clear tape that you put on top of the base and this is, is what's going to keep your flowers in place, okay? So should I leave it almost like a tic-tac-toe grid, like leave some space? Exactly. Okay. Exactly like a tic-tac-toe grid. Yes. Good, good, good. And what you do is you just take your greenery and you fill it in all throughout the top of your base, right? And if you don't have greenery, you can use hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are a great, great filler because they're really fluffy flowers. I don't have any cut type of greenery or filler, but I got mm -hmm. lots of other beautiful stuff. So what should I start with? So I think you should choose the flower that you have the most of and use it to cover the base of the base. So the very top and just fill it in and then you're, we're gonna add the flowers. Okay, top. excellent. So now, uh, and should I cut these if they're at the base? I'm using these beautiful coral roses. Should oh, I do, perfect. yeah, they're, these are my favorite. Okay. So do, what you wanna do is just take those roses that you have, that's completely fine, and cut them short. Got it. You see how I have my base covered like this? Yes. The next thing I want to do, I just want you to pick one of your, another one of your flowers that you have. Another one of your flowers. And then we're going to put that, layer that on top of the base that you've already created. Got it. Now, should this one be a little bit uh, taller? I think so. So this one can be a little bit taller. Good. And one pro tip for you, Christine, what I like to do is you see how you have all those leaves and stuff on top of your flowers? Take those leaves off because when you do that, it's going to give your flowers a nice, clean look. Yes. And right now what I'm adding, which is another great fall flower, is this chrysanthemum. And they come in those pretty fall colors too. You can get them at your local grocery store. And these, the awesome things about these chrysanthemums is they last for a long time. I, and I, something else I've learned uh, is if let's say you're doing this for Thanksgiving, you're getting your table ready. So Thanksgiving yes. we know is on a Thursday. When should we actually get our flower arrangement done. I've, I've always tried to do it two days before so things really open up. Is that I think two days before is actually perfect. And what you want to do is you want to go to the grocery store the first thing in the morning because that's when you get the best flowers. Well, that is a good pro tip. Okay, now what about food, plants? So, you know, I get the packets here. I actually have it. Oopsie, yeah. should, should I have added, can I add that now? So you can add that now, and let me tell you one thing. When you get ready to design your arrangement for Thanksgiving, yes, I want you to put some ice in your water. When you put that ice in your water, in your base, before you put the flowers in, that's going to make that water, that water nice and cold. It's just like food. You know how food is perishable, flowers are too, and you got to keep food cold to keep it well. Okay. It's the same concept. Crew, is this okay? Yeah. Done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right. Now it's Good time. Job. That looks awesome. Okay, now it's time for us to set the table. I got my tablescape right here. Let's start. Okay, yes. So what I like to do is, I know you know about these nice little charger plates. You can get them in gold or silver, whatever color you like. And then you take one of your favorite plates, and sometimes they have nice, pretty fall-colored plates. And then you put it right on top of your charger plate. Yes. All right. So I got my candle. I got my silver. I have my wine and I have yes. my flowers. 
as a little extra touch. I got these tiny little pumpkins from the grocery store. Look at that. So cute. I love your great tips and advice. Where can we go to learn more and get more information about all of your great projects? So you can go to my website, Blurish.com, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Blurish. And I just want to show you like the finished arrangement so you can know once you get everything done. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to tell you, mine does not look like that, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, and I just noticed it needs to be filled in in the front, but um, mine is, well, it's okay for starters. It's okay. You're it's teaching okay. me. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. It was so great seeing you. I so appreciate your time. Happy holidays. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, too. Thanks for having me. Of course. This is fun.